Now, what we need to understand with Duolingo is the data advantage they have. If you don't know what Duolingo is, they are a gamified learning language app. This is an app you could download on your phone and take daily lessons for free or you could buy a subscription and learn 40 different languages around the world. And actually recently they added chess, music, and math, which have been greatly successful, especially chess. That's what I'm learning. I have almost a 70 day streak now and I've actually learned a lot. But this is a, an app that's supposed to make learning fun. You're supposed to log in for five to 15 minutes a day, take one to two lessons and sign off. What people don't understand is this company is trying to become a personalized AI tutor for billions around the world. Not millions, but billions. What gives them the advantage is the data they collect. In the world of AI, data has become so much more important, especially personalized data. Data only Duolingo can collect. So every time someone completes a lesson or makes a mistake or even just taps a screen, it feeds Duolingo more data. This is data that no LLM has, no big tech has, only Duolingo. This is personalized learning behavior data. What they then do is take that data, that learning behavior data, put it into AI models. These AI models generate better lessons for faster, cheaper, and they're more personalized. Those lessons attract more users. Those users attract more data. And that data goes back into the AI models and it's a rapidly reinforcing flywheel.